All right, I wanted to go over, uh, this is uh, KVM, QEMU, KVM under uh, uh, Linux. In this case, I'm running OpenSUSE uh, and I'm running Leap 15.5. Uh, Though what I'm going to demonstrate is going to be a Tumbleweed instance, uh, a guest, running under the hypervisor. So for those who don't know, uh, KVM is a hypervisor that's available inside of Linux and it is a type 1 uh, style hypervisor, so we can treat it just uh, as far as an efficiency point of view um, as kind of like any of the other uh, high-end commercial hypervisors that are out there today. Um, except you get the power of Linux. Anything that Linux uh, has access to, you may potentially have access to uh, inside of your guests. And that gives you a lot of flexibility and of course, it means that there's a lot of things that will be happening over the years to make these things even better and better as time goes on. So, but I wanted to show you today is a problem that doesn't happen often. So I've got an OpenSUSE Tumbleweed instance here that I'm going to start up. Um, so you can watch this thing boot. Um, <clears throat> Tumbleweed, for those that don't know, OpenSUSE has what they call a rolling distribution that tends to follow, you know, more like, you know, builds that are done, you know, on a daily basis that are, that run through a uh, open QA test suite. Uh, so they're designed to be very stable and everything, but very bleeding edge, okay? Uh, not development bleeding edge, so this isn't a preview of something that's actually uh, necessarily undergoing uh, very unstable development. It's more like the latest packages uh, of everything that has been released. So very, so it's, it's it's bleeding edge, but not to the point of being so high risk that you might lose it all. But occasionally, on the bleeding edge, there can be problems. So one of the most popular things to do uh, to any Linux or OpenSUSE, I should say, any OpenSUSE distribution, is to add a third-party repo called Pac-Man. And the reason for that is to get around, well, it's, it's, there's several reasons, but one of the big reasons is to make sure that you get all of the patent-encumbered codecs and things that, you know, legally, if a distribution were to distribute them, they could actually... Uh, come under some uh, uh, legal uh, litigation, you know, p potentially uh, for distribution. So, uh, so it's, you know, it's, it's, so a lot of times, a lot of distri distributions will isolate such packages, so that you have to add those in, and it's popular to add those in. But I wanted to show you on updates. So normally, when you when you're dealing with a rolling distribution, you do updates and you do them, uh, you do them often, and so. Um, uh, and in this case, um, I wanted to show you what uh, what potentially a bad update might look like. So normally inside of Tumbleweed, you would elevate your privileges and do um, what's called a distribution update. Uh, and that's because this is Tumbleweed. And so you're not just doing updates because there's not there's not only a baseline you're updating against. You're always doing a full distribution update every time you do updates on Tumbleweek. And that's just because it's always a moving target. It's never like, okay, now we're going to stop here and we're just going to do bug fixes from here on out. Nothing. No, not none of that. You're always getting brand new versions of things all the time. So uh, we'll do our zipper dupe distribution update. Um, and we get this really large problem here. Uh, so one of the things I like about Zipper, of course, is it gives you a lot of different options for how to deal with problems as they occur during the installation process. But obviously, you really don't want to see these too often where you have a lot of problems. So here I do have packages that were installed from Pac-Man. In fact, you'll see down here in solution number two, it says, you know, do you want... Uh, this package that's libav format from vendor OpenSUSE to switch over to libav format from Pac-Man, for example, which you know a lot of times you do, and 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 the, and the reason for that is 
uh, you might prefer, or they might be, uh, even though, uh, you know, Elvis Susan might be bleeding edge, as I mentioned, they may have some restrictions with regards to patent encumbered codecs and, and things of that nature. So, so a lot of times, that sounds like exactly what you want to do. But in this particular case, this is actually a bigger problem. So if we go scroll way back up here, because um, it looks, look at all the things it wants to get rid of. <laughs> so it's got this thing, it says problem. Nothing provides, this is only for build environments needed to be installed, FFmpeg 6 mini libs. So seeing that there's a dependency, and this has to do with this FFmpeg 6 mini libs, which is coming from Pac-Man, and it has now this dependency in it, and it's causing all sorts of problem, and as an end result, it wants to try to remove pretty much your entire plasma environment and a lot of other things, right? So it's like, oh my gosh, you know, this is horrible. Uh, whenever you see something like this, rather than just being very quick to click uh, or choose one of the solutions that is offered, uh, whenever you see something big like this or it looks really scary like this, I, I would I would greatly suggest that you check the forums. If there's nothing in the forums about it, if people aren't already discussing the issue, uh, I would wait for them to start discussing the issue so that you can start getting some uh, relatively good feedback from OpenSUSE developers to basically comment on the state. And in this particular state, if you did look it up online, they're going to tell you, wait. They're going to tell you, you need to wait. So don't try to go with these solutions. This is a good day to just hit cancel, which is the default, and we're not going to do our zipper updates today. Um, this is unusual. So normally, uh, even though Tumbleweed tends to be bleeding edge, doing the zipper uh, distribution upgrade command, the zipper dupe command, is very safe and works and works really well uh, but today not so much so um, this is an oddball which is why I wanted to make this video because these things do happen on occasion they're rare where we do have a problem that needs to be addressed uh, and the best advice is hold off on making your uh, regularly scheduled updates to your tumbleweed for right now. So whenever you see a big, huge, hairy glob like this that looks like, oh my gosh, it's asking to deinstall my entire environment, uh, check out on the forums, get some feedback, look to see what the, uh, the developers say, and if they come back and say, hey, hold off, we, we're aware of the problem, but we'll, you know, we need some time to adjust and to fix these things, um, hold off, <laughs> do, do what they tell you to do. Um, and just, uh, and that's what we're going to do today. So we're not going to do it. That's why I wanted to make this video just to show you that because I think it's, I think it's interesting.